tell me a little bit about the operation that you're carrying out. So I'm welcome. What you're seeing here is the New York Operations Center. It's the Crisis Management Command Center, where we are coordinating the takedown of a major cyber operation, uh, the Black Shades case. And what you're seeing here is communications with other field offices and countries around the world. What, what exactly are you trying to take down? The uh, Black Shades malware is a um, computer malware suite that is applied to a victim's computer so that the aggressor, the attacker, can take over the computer and perform uh, almost every function that the user can perform. It's applied to a victim's computer so that the cyber criminal can take over the computer and uh, do various things such as activate the web camera, uh, use the keylogger in order to determine passwords and other access uh, credentials. So how big of a problem is this? Well, we've identified over 700,000 potential victims around the world. We have 18 countries cooperating with us on this investigation, and we have uh, FBI agents in over 40 cities around the country uh, conducting interviews and other law enforcement actions in order to take the case down. And the expectation is that you're going to be able to arrest people here and in all these other countries probably around the same time so that nobody gets tipped off? Is that That's correct. This particular level of cooperation in the cyber arena is unprecedented. What does this typically look like? I mean, is this a, an email that looks like it comes from a friend? What is yes. typically the way this, this happens? Well, most of the victims are subject to what's known as spear phishing, which is a socially engineered email designed to attract the victim to read the email and designed to uh, induce the victim into clicking on the attachment. So I might be looking at an email that I think comes from my mom or from my sister, perhaps. Well, it may come from a, uh, a, a, an associate or someone you've uh, had email contact with before, but it also may come from a company you've never heard of before, in, in, in offering, making an offering to you, or making some type of attractive uh, image to you, depending on the type of spear phishing email that's sent. It comes in very many forms.